So today we're at Yolo Land and Cattle. We are a cow-calf operation. My father-in-law, Henry Stone, founded Yolo Land and Cattle back in 1976. Agriculture can save the world through food and fiber pr production, energy production, watershed management. There's just a whole multitude of things that can be done. You know, how do we do it more efficiently? How do we make our ranch a better place for our cattle, our grasses, our wildlife, our watershed? I think nowadays, anybody that says that there's no climate change happening is uh, pretty foolish these days because you can see the effects everywhere. It affects everybody differently. It's, it's affected our ranch in, in several different ways, but we had two fires, one in 2018, the other in 2020. Each of them burned about 7,000 acres of the ranch. Uh, pretty devastating, but you pick up the pieces and move on. We've had some real extremes weather-wise. Again, having owned the ranch for 47 years, we've seen all kinds of precipitation years. Our normal is 18 to 22 inches. Two years ago in the winter, we had a six inches of rain the whole winter, which is a major drought. And then last year, we have the other end of the extreme. We had 42 inches of rainfall last year. The best thing you can do with precipitation is try to keep it on the land where it occurs. Um, so we, over the years, have benefited by having lots of livestock ponds on the ranch. Some were there when we purchased the ranch. Some have been created. Um, we try to create some riparian areas around the ponds, which helps slow the water down. Through the use of composting and these cover crops, we're finding that uh, we're, it's improving the soil so the water holding capacity, the soil's been increased. So you don't have as much runoff going down the mountain and flooding down in the valley where it's caused a lot of problems. Uh, we have solar pumps and so we pump the water out of the pond and it irrigates through all our irrigation system that they put in. And then it also, we pump water out of our ponds into some of our water troughs where we cannot get our well water to those areas. The clock is ticking. Um, someone said we have 60 harvests left before we have depleted our earth to the point where it can regenerate itself. If you think about it like that, 60, I mean, that's nothing. Well, some of us have been beating the drum for a long time, many years, trying to do the right things in some of this carbon sequestration, some of the projects that we've been doing. So I originally became interested in compost applications after I heard a guy named John Wick talk, and John was the creator and the mastermind of the Marin Carbon Project. And they took, you know, over in Marin County, they applied compost to rangelands for several years, and they spent a lot of money documenting the benefits of putting compost on rangelands. And of course, it's the same with putting compost on irrigated croplands, orchards, vineyards, irrigated pastures. Um, the plants really react well. It, it, it helps the uh, soil bacteria. It helps uh, open up the soil when the plants are growing more. They're producing, in our case, on the rangelands, they're producing more forage for the cattle. Those roots are going deeper, uh, which gives you better retention of the water when it rains. You're also getting more carbon sequestration out of the atmosphere by the increased growth in the plants. You use the cattle to come in and rotationally graze these fields, bring the plants back down, they come back up, uh, roots keep expanding, and it's, it's a great cycle, and there have been tremendous benefits over the years. We're really proud of the work that we've been doing over the last 20 years. We've had a multitude of great partners that have uh, helped us achieve some of the results that we've, we've garnered there on the ranch. Uh, it's made the ranch a much better place for the wildlife, for the livestock, uh, for the people that work and are involved in the ranch. You need the resources because, again, it's expensive and it's time consuming, but that's why NRCS and the RCD and people like them are here. It's so critical now in this world that we really, all of us, I mean all of us, big ranchers, big farmers, 
small farmers, all of us, we have to start thinking outside the box. We have to realize that this is the way that we're gonna save this earth.